Hi everyone, welcome to Notescraft. Today we dive into the world of Mary Shelley's Frankenstein, a tale that has transcended time and continues to captivate readers nearly two centuries after it was first penned. To truly appreciate this masterpiece it's important to understand the woman behind the words. Mary Shelley was born in the late 18th century, an era marked by revolutions and radical ideas. She was the daughter of two progressive thinkers, Mary Wollstonecraft, a pioneer of women's rights, and William Godwin, a political philosopher. She was no stranger to rebellion and the questioning of societal norms, themes that seep into her most famous work, Frankenstein. Frankenstein was conceived during the summer of 1816, famously referred to as the Year Without a Summer. Mary, then 18, was vacationing near Lake Geneva with her future husband, Percy Bysshe Shelley, and the renowned poet, Lord Byron. The incessant rain confined them indoors, leading to a competition to write the most terrifying ghost story. This challenge sparked the creation of Frankenstein. The novel is a cornerstone of Gothic literature, a genre characterized by elements of horror, death and romance. Frankenstein is often associated with Romanticism, a literary movement that emphasized emotion, individualism, and the awe of nature. Mary Shelley masterfully wove these elements into her narrative, creating a chilling tale that explored the consequences of unchecked ambition and the human desire to play God. Frankenstein tells the story of Victor Frankenstein, a young scientist who creates a grotesque creature in an unorthodox scientific experiment. The novel, however, is far more than a mere horror story, it's a profound exploration of life and death, responsibility and consequence, isolation, and the destructive power of obsession. Now that we have a brief understanding of Mary Shelley and the context of Frankenstein, let's delve into the narrative. The story of Frankenstein is one that has permeated pop culture, but the original narrative is often misunderstood. So, let's delve into the captivating plot of Mary Shelley's masterpiece, Frankenstein. Our tale begins with a young, ambitious Swiss scientist named Victor Frankenstein. His burning desire to uncover the secrets of life leads him to the University of Ingolstadt. There, he becomes obsessed with the idea of creating life from non-living matter, a pursuit that consumes him for several years. Eventually, Victor's relentless pursuit bears fruit, and he accomplishes the unthinkable. He brings to life a creature assembled from stolen body parts. However, the end result is far from the beautiful being he envisioned. Instead, Victor finds himself face to face with a hideous creature, standing at eight feet tall, with a grotesque appearance that sends shivers down his spine. Overwhelmed by horror and regret, Victor abandons his creation and falls into a fitful sleep, haunted by nightmares. Awakening to find the creature gone, Victor is momentarily relieved, but his peace is short-lived. His younger brother William is found murdered, and Justine, a kind-hearted family servant, is wrongfully accused and executed for the crime. The real murderer, Victor discovers, is the creature he created and abandoned. The creature, desperate for companionship and angry at his creator for his abandonment and the loneliness he has endured, confronts Victor. He shares his tale of survival and loneliness and demands that Victor creates a female companion for him. Victor, fearing the wrath of another such creature, initially agrees but later destroys the female creature before she's complete. This act of betrayal fuels the creature's rage further. On Victor's wedding night, the creature takes his revenge by killing Elizabeth, Victor's beloved wife. In his grief, Victor vows to destroy the creature and embarks on a relentless pursuit, chasing his creation across the icy wilderness. In the end, Victor dies from exhaustion and exposure, his quest for vengeance unfulfilled. The creature upon discovering his creator's death, mourns the man who gave him life and yet brought him so much pain. He vows to end his own life and disappears into the icy wilderness, leaving the audience to ponder his fate. The complexity of the narrative is what makes Frankenstein a masterpiece. But it's the characters that truly bring this story to life. From Victor's tragic ambition and the creature's desperate loneliness, to the needless deaths of innocent characters, the plot serves as a stark reminder of the consequences of playing God and the profound impact of loneliness and rejection. The characters in Frankenstein are as complex as the narrative itself. At the heart of this tangled web of creation and destruction, we find Victor Frankenstein and his creation, the creature. Victor, a man of science, is driven by his insatiable curiosity and an unquenchable thirst for knowledge. His ambition leads him to the creation of life, but not without a price. Victor represents the dangers of unchecked ambition and the potential pitfalls of scientific advancement. 
The creature on the other hand is a symbol of innocence turned into monstrosity by rejection and mistreatment. Born without a name it only seeks acceptance and companionship, but is met with fear and loathing. The creature's journey from innocence to vengefulness reflects the impact of society's judgment and the power of nurture over nature. Victor and the creature are two sides of the same coin. They mirror each other's loneliness, their desire for acceptance, and their struggle with their own monstrous natures. Their intertwined fates remind us that creators are often haunted by their creations, and creations are forever marked by their creators. Among the secondary characters we have Elizabeth Lavenza, Victor's adopted sister and love interest. She represents the ideal woman of the time, kind, gentle, and self-sacrificing. Her tragic end underscores the destructive consequences of Victor's reckless pursuit of knowledge. Then there's Robert Walton, the explorer who rescues Victor from the icy wilderness. His character serves as a foil to Victor, highlighting the difference between healthy ambition and obsessive pursuit. Henry Clerval, Victor's best friend, embodies the virtues of empathy and humility, standing in stark contrast to Victor's hubris. His innocence and untimely death further highlight the tragic consequences of Victor's actions. Lastly, we have Justine Moritz, the family servant wrongfully accused of murder. Her fate illustrates the theme of injustice and the destructive power of false accusations. These characters and their struggles are what make Frankenstein a timeless tale. Now let's look at the central themes of the story. Mary Shelley's Frankenstein is a complex, multi-layered narrative that has stood the test of time. Today we've journeyed through the twisted labyrinth of this iconic tale, scrutinizing its captivating plot, intricate characters, and profound themes. The tragedy of Victor Frankenstein and his creature, both victims and perpetrators, is a haunting tale that lingers in the reader's mind. The characters, each with their unique stories and perspectives, bring to life the timeless themes that Mary Shelley deftly embedded in her narrative. Themes of ambition, isolation, and the consequences of playing God ring as true today as they did when the book was first published. In our contemporary world where science and technology are advancing at an unprecedented pace, the cautionary tale of Frankenstein is more relevant than ever. From its haunting narrative to its timeless themes, Frankenstein is a testament to Mary Shelley's genius. Frankenstein is more than a mere horror story. It's a tale rich with themes that continue to resonate with us today. At its heart, the novel explores the theme of creation. Victor Frankenstein's ambition to create life echoes the human desire to play God, to harness the power of nature, and to defy mortality. This theme is intricately tied to the pursuit of knowledge and the dangers that come with it, a cautionary tale that warns us against overstepping the boundaries of what we should know. Alongside creation we see the theme of ambition woven into the narrative. Frankenstein's relentless pursuit of his goal, despite the consequences, mirrors the destructive nature of unchecked ambition. His desire to excel, to push beyond the bounds of human capability, eventually leads to tragedy, underscoring the peril of unchecked aspiration. Responsibility, another key theme, is explored through Frankenstein's abdication of his duties as a creator. His failure to care for his creation, to acknowledge his part in the creature's suffering, highlights the repercussions of shirking responsibility. The novel forces us to question our obligations towards our creations and the consequences of ignoring these duties. Isolation forms another significant theme in the novel. Both Victor and his creation experience profound loneliness, a shared misery that drives the narrative. This theme serves as a reminder of the human need for companionship and the detrimental effects of isolation on our psyche. Finally, revenge is a powerful theme that fuels the conflict between Victor and his creation. The creature's desire for revenge against his creator speaks to the primal urge for retribution when wronged. It's a cycle of vengeance that ultimately leads to their mutual destruction. These themes, deeply embedded in the narrative, form the backbone of Shelley's masterpiece. They reflect our deepest fears and desires and through them, Mary Shelley holds up a mirror to society, forcing us to confront the monsters within us. This is what makes Frankenstein more than just a horror story, it is a timeless exploration of human nature. Now, let's delve deeper into the literary magic that is Frankenstein. Mary Shelley's Frankenstein is a banquet of literary devices, each one carefully chosen to enhance the storytelling and heighten the novel's emotional resonance. Three of these devices in particular play a pivotal role, foreshadowing symbolism and the framing narrative. Foreshadowing in Frankenstein is like a shadow creeping in the corners, subtly hinting at the impending doom. 
Shelly skillfully uses this device to create an atmosphere of suspense and unease. For instance, Victor Frankenstein's initial fascination with alchemy and the occult foreshadows his eventual creation of the creature, a scientific endeavor turned monstrous. Symbolism, on the other hand, adds depth to the narrative by connecting abstract ideas with concrete objects. Shelley's use of light and darkness is a prime example. Light often symbolizes knowledge and enlightenment, while darkness represents ignorance and uncertainty. This interplay between light and darkness mirrors the struggle between science and morality that lies at the heart of the novel. Lastly, the framing narrative, a story within a story, is a device that gives Frankenstein its unique structural complexity. The novel opens and closes with the letters of Captain Walton, who himself is on a quest for knowledge. His narrative frames the tragic tale of Victor Frankenstein and his creature, creating a layered narrative that allows for multiple perspectives and interpretations. These literary devices not only enhance the novel's storytelling but also contribute to its emotional impact. Foreshadowing builds suspense, symbolism deepens our understanding and the framing narrative adds complexity. Together they create a sense of dread and inevitability, intensifying the tragic downfall of Victor Frankenstein and the heartbreaking plight of his creature. Through these tools of the trade Shelley masterfully crafts a story that is both chilling and thought-provoking. To fully appreciate Frankenstein, one must understand the time in which it was written. This iconic work of literature was conceived in the throes of the Romantic era, an epic marked by a deep reverence for nature, a fascination with the supernatural, and a profound skepticism towards industrialization and scientific progress. Romanticism arose as a reaction to the Enlightenment's emphasis on reason and logic. This movement celebrated emotion, individualism, and the sublime power of nature. Mary Shelley being a part of this era, infused her novel with these elements. The sublime landscapes in Frankenstein, the central character's struggle with his creation, and the profound emotional turmoil experienced by the characters, all echo the romantic ethos. Meanwhile the Industrial Revolution was rapidly reshaping society. This period was marked by a shift from agrarian life to an industrial and urban one, accompanied by significant technological advancements. While these changes brought about economic growth and societal progress, they also incited fear and apprehension. Shelley's Frankenstein reflects these anxieties. The novel presents a cautionary tale about unchecked scientific progress, epitomized in Dr. Frankenstein's creation of the monster. In addition to the Industrial Revolution, the early 19th century was a time of groundbreaking scientific advancements. The lines between myth and reality, life and death were being blurred. Galvanism, the idea that electricity could reanimate dead tissue, was a hot topic. Shelley was undoubtedly influenced by these scientific developments. The creation of Frankenstein's monster, an amalgamation of dead body parts brought to life through some mysterious process, embodies the era's scientific curiosities and apprehensions. Understanding these historical factors gives us a deeper insight into the novel. It helps us see why Frankenstein is more than just a gothic horror story. It's a reflection of a time of great change, a time when humanity was grappling with the implications of rapid progress and the boundaries of life and death. It's in this unique historical context that Frankenstein was born, a reflection of the fears and fascinations of its time. Over 200 years have passed since Frankenstein was first published, yet its influence remains undiminished. Mary Shelley's magnum opus has left an indelible mark on literature and popular culture, inspiring countless adaptations and shaping the horror genre as we know it. The novel's exploration of life, death, and the blurring boundaries between them has tantalized readers, making it a timeless classic. The influence of Frankenstein extends far beyond the literary sphere. It has permeated popular culture, from films to comic books, from Halloween costumes to video games. The image of the misunderstood monster has become a cultural icon, a symbol of the fears and anxieties of a society grappling with scientific and technological advancements. Moreover, Frankenstein has played a crucial role in shaping the horror genre. Its blend of science and the supernatural, its exploration of the monstrous and the macabre, laid the groundwork for a genre that thrives on the thrill of the unknown and the terror of the unnatural. Mary Shelley's masterpiece has also sparked critical discussions on ethics and morality in science. It has prompted us to question the boundaries of human knowledge and the potential consequences of overstepping them. Frankenstein serves as a cautionary tale, warning us of the perils of unchecked ambition and the misuse of scientific power. Yet, despite its grim themes and ominous undertones, 
Frankenstein continues to captivate readers today. Its enduring appeal lies in its universal themes, the quest for knowledge, the fear of the unknown, the struggle for acceptance. These themes resonate with readers, drawing them into the eerie world of Victor Frankenstein and his monstrous creation. Frankenstein is more than just a chilling tale of horror. It is a profound exploration of humanity's deepest fears and desires, a poignant commentary on society's relentless pursuit of progress. It is a testament to Mary Shelley's genius and the enduring power of literature. Thus, Frankenstein stands as a monumental work, a testament to Mary Shelley's genius and the enduring power of literature. As we conclude our journey through Frankenstein, we find ourselves in awe of Mary Shelley's literary prowess. This tale of a man-made monster takes us on a profound exploration of themes, from the dangers of unbridled scientific ambition to the profound loneliness of being different. It's a narrative that transcends time, highlighting the eternal human struggle to grapple with our own creations and consequences. Shelley's use of literary devices, like the epistolary form and frame narrative, not only provide a unique storytelling method, but also deepen the narrative's emotional resonance. The historical context of the novel enhances its significance, reflecting the socio-political climate of the early 19th century, the dawn of the Industrial Revolution, and the Romantic era's rebellion against Enlightenment rationalism. The lasting impact of Frankenstein is undeniable. It stands as a cornerstone of Gothic literature, a pioneer of science fiction, and a profound exploration of human nature. It's a testament to Shelley's genius that her debut novel, written when she was just 18, continues to captivate, inspire, and challenge us over two centuries later. In our exploration of Frankenstein, we've uncovered layers of meaning, context, and influence, but the beauty of literature is that it's always open to new perspectives, interpretations, and discussions. So, the conversation doesn't stop here. Thank you for watching. Please like and share our video and subscribe to our YouTube channel. If our content resonates with you, kindly share your suggestions on what you'd like to see next in the comments down below.